Once you finish recording a video, it will automatically pop up in a new tab in your Chrome browser. From there, you will have a few options for sharing your video. If you're using Google Classroom with your teacher, you can select Share to Classroom option to attach a recording to one of your assignments. You can also share your recording with someone using the link. Simply click the big blue button that says Copy Shareable Link to copy a link of your recording to your clipboard. The shareable link is automatically set to unlisted, meaning that anyone who has the link can view your video. However, it isn't searchable. If you prefer to update your sharing permissions, you can select more options. Videos that are public at your school domain are available for anyone at your school to find and see your video. Unlisted at your domain means that anyone at your school can see the video, but only if you send them the link. Finally, private videos are only viewable by you. If you'd prefer to share your videos on YouTube, you can select Publish to YouTube. Then you'll see a box where you can choose your privacy settings. You'll have three different options. A public video can be viewed by anyone on YouTube. Unlisted can be viewed by people who you send the link to. And of course, private is only viewable by you. Once you choose your option, you can add a description before you upload to make your video live. You can also send your recording in an email. And this is really good if it is something you only want your teacher to see. Finally, you can download your videos in a few different formats, including MP4, MP3, if you just want to use the audio, or even animated GIF if you like a fun moving image. Now that you've shared your video, it's time to head to our last video. See you there!